And when you think high security, you're probably associating it with items of extreme monetary value. Something along the lines of rare artifacts, artistic masterpieces, or just stacked bars of gold. But you'd be surprised to know that some of the most heavily guarded places on the planet don't contain jewels or paintings but rather items of true value, like seeds and secrets. Welcome to the most protected places on the planet. From frozen food security to body doubles to religious secrets in European vaults, these items are all on extreme lockdown because when it comes to keeping what really matters safe, well, here's the gold standard. On a remote island at the northwestern tip of Norway rests one of the world's most well-guarded buildings. It looks like a supervillain's hideout, a massive concrete and steel structure jutting out of an ice-covered mountain. But inside, there's not weapons of mass destruction or plans to sink Manhattan. It's seeds. A lot of seeds. There are over 930,000 varieties of food crop seeds stored here for humankind's perseverance through scientific research. The collection comes from donation sourced from countries all over the world. All of these biological deposits are kept in specially sealed packets at minus 18 degrees Celsius, that's zero degrees Fahrenheit, and they're guarded better than the Pentagon. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is located in Spitsbergen, Norway. Its main entrance is outside the mountain. The interior takes advantage of the geology as insulation, keeping the seeds in an ideally low temperature for long-term storage. Inside the complex, a three large chambers, all fitted with different nuclear-proof doors. Behind these doors are the seeds that make up the global human food supplies insurance policy. Brian Lanoff, lead coordinator of the Crop Trust, has said this in regards to keeping watch over humanity's last hope. Quote, Inside the building is 13,000 years of agricultural history. The seeds don't care that there are North Korean seeds and South Korean seeds in the same aisle. They are cold and safe up there, and that's all that really matters. It's not so much about replanting as it is about research, though. The seeds in this collection are extremely rare, some being the original source plants of grains we've genetically changed so much over the years for mass consumption that they don't even resemble the original plants slash produce. By storing the ancestors of what we know today as corn, wheat, rye, etc., we have an invaluable link to a vegetation origin of the species, both for research and further genetic modifications, or, in a worst-case scenario, to rebuild society after some unsinkable global catastrophe. I just want to take a quick break in today's video to share something incredible with you. You know, the holiday season is just around the corner, and if you're like me, you're on the hunt for perfect gifts. Well, look no further than Ridge. So what is this Ridge thing, you ask? Well, it's not just a wallet. I mean, it is a wallet, but it's also a game changer. I swapped out my old bot. I had the same leather wallet since I was 18, and then Ridge started sponsoring me a couple of years ago, and I just switched to a Ridge wallet and never looked back. Uh, you could fit 12 cards in this bad boy, although I just have three in here, a couple of bank cards and my ID. Easy does it. Can also put some cash in the back there. I don't have any cash in there because I tried not to use cash, but, you know, having the bank cards in there is super handy. The Ridge Wallet is also designed with RFID blocking material, so you're protected from digital pickpockets. And the Ridge Key Case... I said, oh, is it in my pocket? Here it is. These are my work keys on my Ridge key case. Uh, it's like a, it's like a, um, a pen knife for keys. It's fantastic. It fits six keys and there's no jingling around. See? Perfectly silent. Plus, if you buy these two things together, you can get 30% off. And speaking of awesome deals, check out their new Hyperline collection. Look at this. That's bright, isn't it? Fantastic. And then is the Ridge Ceramic Powder Collection, which is a fresh take on Everyday Essentials. Pastel colors with a smooth finish. It feels fantastic, but soft to the touch. Ridge offers the best gifts, and with 30 plus colors and styles, including leather, there's something for everyone. Plus, personalize your gift with text or design. And guess what? Air tag attachments are available on every relevant product, so you can never lose your essentials. Again, over 3 million customers, 80,000 five star reviews, and a 99 day risk free trial, as well as a lifetime warranty. Ready to shop for the holidays? Head to ridge.com slash side projects for up to 30% off through December the 20th. Plus, by using my link, ridge.com slash side projects, you can enter your email or mobile number for a free charge to win a Ridge bundle worth $4,000, no purchase necessary. Now that's a deal you don't want to miss out on, and now back to today's video. So how is this vault so much more secure than other places? Well, it's all about location. 
It's stationed on a frozen Norwegian island far from human contact or conflict. The locale offers multiple layers of protection as the mountain itself provides natural permafrost refrigeration, maintaining a naturally low temperature to preserve the seeds inside. It's also a region with stable geography, meaning the vault's home experiences minimal threat of earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, flooding, or other natural disasters. Besides mountain protection, there's plenty of advanced technological security, including armed guards, cameras, steel locking doors, reinforced concrete walls, and surveillance systems. There's also minimal human visitation. You can't visit, even if you want to. In fact, the vault's never been accessible to the public. It's only had items removed from inside it six times since its founding in 2008. That's because these non-GMO seeds are here mostly for research. Think more of a genetic library than a gardening center. If we have grown it and eaten it at any point in human history, kept here for research are the genes and biodiversity that make up the edible building blocks for humanity. Vatican City may be the smallest country in the world, the entirety takes up less than New York Central Park, and it's home to just a couple of hundred residents. But make no mistake, this country has its fair share of secrets to protect, and it spares no expense in doing so. Because inside the Vatican lies 12 centuries worth of secrets. They are scattered among 85 kilometers, that's 53 miles of shelved books and documents, a catalog spanning over 35,000 items, and unless you're a religious academic over the age of 75, you're not allowed to have a poke around inside. This is because the rumors of what lay inside are extreme, ranging from the ridiculous to the damning. Some are supposedly controversial enough to damage the fabric of society as we know it. Despite rumors to the contrary, there is no proof that Christ ever existed inside the sanctum, but there are documents about everything from Nazi-collaborated time travel machines for a good laugh Google chronovisor to a grand grimoire that includes instructions on how to summon Satan himself. There are also centuries of political, historic, and religious secrets that are less sexy, but probably more socially damaging. The Vatican secret archives are a real-life treasure trove of information the Pope and his peers feel is too much for the public to handle. And how seriously do they guard this museum of knowledge, confession, and intrigue? Well, the answer is really seriously. The Pope himself has a personal security force that travels everywhere he goes thanks to the Swiss Guard, but Vatican City itself has what is adorably known as the world's smallest army, thanks to the service of the Corps of Gendarmerie. This is the Vatican's own crew, and includes roughly 100 officers, 8 police chiefs, 16 police commissioners, 32 inspectors, 40 vice inspectors, and 94 soldiers. If you want to sign up, you have to be male, unmarried, between the ages of 21 to 24, and a practicing Catholic. And even then, as a member of the staff securing the city, you're still over 50 years away from being able to enter the church's book bunker. If you want to actually enter those secret archives, this is the protocol. You must apply in advance. If you meet all of the necessary requirements and background checks, security will escort you to the archives. The entrance is guarded by armed members of the Swiss Guard. If you're a scholar of appropriate age, you will be physically ushered to the three documents you already pre-requested. There is no lazy stack grazing like at a public library. You are not allowed to meander the aisles like a museum. Every moment you're inside, you're monitored by chaperones, security cameras, armed guards, and if you're a believer, well, God himself. And don't try to sneak your iPhone to snap some photos of what you saw. The gendarmerie and Swiss Guard are both trained to confiscate any and all cell phones and personal devices from entering the sanctum. If you somehow manage to sneak a phone in, it doesn't matter, because under the floor is an electronic jamming system set up to scramble and destroy any listening devices. The church is paranoid of secrets escaping, because historically some do, like as recently as 2012, when an embarrassing leak from an anonymous cardinal got out exposing scandals involving sexual bribery. Since then, every item and person, from delivered packages to heads of state that enter the conclave is meticulously searched, and they should be because the Vatican is constantly finding bugs planted by international spies. Wherever Vlad is, there's more security involved than possibly any other human being on the planet. And that includes Taylor Swift and the aforementioned Bishop of Rome. Vlad is constantly under the eye of the Presidential Security Service, the agency that traces its leadership and origins back to the USSR's KGB. It employs over 2,500 people to do everything from body doubles to food tasting to security details. And most of the information we have about Putin's security comes from the Beyond Russia website, which is run by TV Novosny, a state media run outlet. That website claims that Vlad's bodyguards are hands 
handpicked for their ability to not only handle operational psychology, but also possess superhuman abilities, such as being impervious to weather conditions. Vlad's bodyguards are required to be unaffected by extreme cold or heat. You're not allowed in if you break a sweat, apparently. Kremlin staff allegedly stake out places he will travel to months in advance, researching everything from locations for protective snipers and sweeping agents to researching possible natural disasters that may occur during the time frame he'll be there. His bodyguards have special bulletproof briefcases they carry that both act as shields from possible assassination attempts and carry Russian-made 9mm pistols loaded with armor-piercing bullets. At least, that is, until they turn 35, at which point they're automatically retired from personal protection duty, but if they keep him alive as promised, they are often rewarded with government or military career posts. Putin's protection isn't restricted to guards and research, though his transportation might as well be a fort on wheels. Right now, the current presidential state car is the Aorus Senat limousine. This car is custom and built to the Federal Protective Service's needs with plenty of offensive and defensive measures built in. Besides obviously being bulletproof, you can't slash the tires, they're made of solid rubber, and oh, when he travels out of the country, that same limo is airlifted by transport aircraft to wherever he goes so as to not risk driving in an insecure vehicle. Possibly the most whimsical of all his security measures is his use of identical officers in multiple secret locations, because sometimes when he says he's in the Kremlin, he isn't. But every office is furnished and decorated the same way down to the smallest detail. If the Kremlin office has a new scratch on a picture frame or a worn spot on the rug, everything is made to be identical. The first pieces of gold arrived at Fort Knox in 1937. Since then, the Kentucky-based military complex has collected over 4 million kilograms, that's 147 million ounces of gold, valued at over $300 billion. This happens to be half of the United States' bullion reserves, and the gold vault it's located in is so heavily protected there aren't any current photos of inside it, the most recent being 50 years old. The fort security is unimaginable. The US Treasury states that the fort is equipped with the latest and most modern protective devices, which is a hilarious understatement, and the US government has not shared what those protective measures are, but popular rumors include hidden landmines on the grounds, laser-triggered machine guns, and its own custom radar system that keeps tight tabs on the gold. These security operations cost the US government over $5 million a year. The entire complex is surrounded by two separate electrical fences, both reinforced with a thick layer of concrete between them. Guards are posted as sniper posts in all four corners of the complex. The building itself is made with concrete-lined granite, which is also reinforced with steel to help withstand everything from natural disasters to direct missile attacks. There's also the added protection of the 40,000 soldiers and their families that reside at the Fort Knox Army Post, making the Fort Complex the fourth largest city in the state of Kentucky with its own emergency power plant, roadways, and water supply. Now, if you did manage to get past the posted guards, trigger guns, landmines, and electric fences, you'll be facing a vault door that weighs more than 20 tons. And no single individual even knows how to get inside, which is another layer of added security, meaning several people only know certain combinations and they need to dial them in simultaneously in different locations to get inside. No other fort on US soil comes close to this level of security, which goes to show just how serious the US government is about protecting its bottom dollar. <laughs>